Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for uh, the next seven days, or, you know, seven days from the date that you watch it. Uh, it is being recorded on the 19th, right? So we could say the 19th through... The 25th of the 26th, I think the 26th, so, but seven days from the date that you watch it, okay? So, this card just came out, we're going to go ahead and take it. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. So, you may be put in a situation this week where you need to know your value, okay? You obviously are going to be tempted. And this says, do not be tempted to lower your standards. So that's a pretty prominent message. So what do we have for Capricorn? Do not be, there's a red flag. There's a red flag here you're going to be presented with. And you're going to have to listen to your gut, listen to your values. Remember who you are. Okay. Remember who you are. What do we have for Capricorn? Ooh, it's interesting that I said listen to your intuition. Seriously, this is a wise, wise, uh, it's the highest intuition the owl is. Owls are also about change. In many cultures, they represent death. Death leads to rebirth, okay? But this is a card of the highest intuition. Wisdom, wisdom. Use, you're going to need to use your intuition and discern a situation this week. You really are. And your intuition has the answer. Okay, so don't doubt your intuition during this time. Okay? I just felt the need to turn light on. Um, let's get one more card. Ooh. The outside looks grand. The inside is a mess. So there's something that looks really good on the outside, but the inside is a serious, serious mess, and you're gonna, and you know it. I know that you do. I gotta show you what's on the bottom. Eight, 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 eight is the time is now. What goes around comes around. This is a very karmic number. Okay, what goes around comes around. All right. So there's some karma that is being deal, dealt with. There is something that is probably coming back around with that 888. Um, the time is now. Eights are also a number of uh, abundance. Okay. So something is coming back around to be dealt with. Okay. Um, it's karmically. You are karmically connected to this. You're going to need to listen to your intuition to make a decision. All right, let's see what we got right here. What do we have for Capricorn? Something is coming back around that you are karmically connected to and you're going to be tempted. It's a test. Ooh, we got sun. It just flew right out of the deck. So you know the sun card is beautiful. Okay, it's a beautiful, bright future. It's happiness. It's enlightenment. It's freedom. It's yes. This is a blessing, so there's some sort of blessing here. It's a new day, you know, this is some sort of breakthrough, okay? Um, so you have a beautiful new beginning here. I feel like you've been going through a period of enlightenment. I feel like you're shining. You may be glowing, you know, you are maybe radiating, uh, vibrating at a very high level. I can see that with the owl because the owl is the highest intuitive wisdom. So I think that you're vibrating at a very high level, but we have angel of balance on the bottom. And, and because of the full moon, um, that is like tomorrow, this is about balance. Okay. This is about balance. So balance is going, the, the, the universe is going, is trying to restore balance in your life and, and bring happiness and vitality into your life. But you're going to be tempted. You're going to be tested this week by something that you are karmically connected to. For sure. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. Um, what else do we have for Capricorn?
I guess we're gonna go with this one. Flexible, flexible. So I'm gonna go ahead and read that. We know what that means. It means that you're gonna have to be flexible. You're gonna have to adapt to some sort of change. I'm gonna go ahead and read it because I read for the others. It's interesting, it's a 19, which is actually in the tarot, the number of the sun card. So there's something that is happening that is is beautiful. It may be a transformation of some sort. It may be going through a, a beautiful life change. Something is happening that is absolutely beautiful, but sometimes when you're going through transitions in your life, and in the, in the, in like the owl, I said, is sometimes a symbol of death, which is a symbol of transformation, I do feel like you're going through a transformation. And you've been doing a lot of inner work, but you're gonna be tempted this week. And that makes sense, it does, because you are ruled by the devil, which is temptation. So you're gonna be tempted. Anyhow, let me go ahead and read this card for you. Flexible, teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's most important. A tree roots, a tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane. Whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down, okay? Consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it may be in shambles. This is how you need to be now. Willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. In every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity is what is required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can you can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. And I do see beauty, so maybe you need to meet somebody halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type. But you will turn but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort by what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. You're going to have to be flexible this week. Even when you have a clear vision of how you're going to manifest something, what it would look like and who, and who you will share in it and what will then be available to you, you still need to relax and be open to other possibilities. Spirit may have much better plans for you. It could be a job that you hadn't thought of, a new source of money, or some other opportunity that eluded your imagination. Be flexible and remind yourself, this or something better manifests for me now. Then be willing to bend a little. You're going to have to bend. You're going to have to be flexible this week. But... You also have to stand in your truth because you're not, you can't lower your standards. So it looks like it's going to be a challenging week by the looks of things, I mean by the sounds of things. Um, what do we have for Capricorn for the next seven days? A need, a need to bend. You're going to need to bend a little. You're going to need to make some compromises and be open-minded to somebody, okay? Um, I feel like you're highly, highly, highly intuitive at this time. You're going to be discerning a situation. Look deep. Look a little bit deeper. Oh, the lovers. Mm. The lovers. So the lovers is a choice. Okay, it's a choice. It's 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 a perfect match. It's a major choice. Has to do with a union. Has to do with a partnership. Um, there's an alignment here. You may be falling in love with somebody or connecting with somebody on a new level. Unexpected. 
unexpected. I mean, the lovers is an unexpected choice, right? That has to do with a partnership and it is a choice. It's a choice. So you're going to be put in a position where you have to make a choice. This is very sudden. It's unexpected. Okay. So wonderful. Uh, eight of cups reversed. Whew. So I'm wondering if some, this is definitely somebody coming back around. Okay. Or, I mean, the Eight of Cups reverse could be somebody that has left, that is coming back around. This could be an apology. There is somebody also that is probably pe pretending that they're happy. They're very, very disappointed. You know, they're staying put in a, an emotionally disappointing situation that they can't find the courage to leave. So that could be the case as well. You do have somebody here that uh, you have a you have shared values with. You really do, but this person is probably not your usual type. If you are in a relationship now um, with somebody and you are in a, in a complete commitment, say you're married to this person, um, but there's a healing love here. There's a healing energy. Because the sun card is healing and this and the lover's card is love. So I'm not sure if you're there's a healing, there's a healing love here. So there's something going on here. Hero font reversed. Hmm. Broken relationships. <laughs> Let's get some more cards. Strength. Strength. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini, a Taurus, or a Leo. Um, strength is a card of courage. It's interesting because I put that right next to the eight of cups reverse. I said, somebody may not find the courage. Maybe they're not finding the courage to communicate or they're not finding the courage to step forward. Maybe they're under a lot of social pressure, Hero font reversed. That's social pressure. We have somebody here that's having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure or they're being controlled by, you know, society or a father figure. So we have somebody here that is is uh, questioning their authority. They are questioning their authority. They don't follow through with their words. They do the opposite of what they say. It's interesting because now we have two eights already and we saw those eights before. So the time is now, the time is now. Something is coming back around. You're gonna need to be strong. You may need to walk away from somebody. I'm just being honest because of that eight of cups. Maybe you can't go back. Maybe this person left. You know, you have some unfinished business. You gotta deal with it, okay? So I, there's lo the lovers is an unexpected choice in love. There's, there's, there's two options when you get the lovers card. And that's the first card out. So either you have another option or the person that you're dealing with may be exploring another option. Um, there's some sort of emotional discontent with the Eight of Cups reversed, okay? Somebody's staying put. They're staying put in the situation because there's um, social pressure, or there's commitment, or there's marriage, or something like that. Um, but the Hero font reversed is uh, a broken relationship, or relationship problems, lack of commitment. Um, you may even have a commitment phobic here or somebody that is um, fearful of commitment. Um, Harold Font reversed some sort of disgrace, public embarrassment or something like that. Somebody is under social pressure. Mm. Four of Wands reversed. There's some sort of discord here family discord or uprooting or wishing that they could go back. Wish We have somebody here that wishes that they could go back. They wish, they wish that, and it is, the outside looks gray and the inside is a mess. They're in a situation, it could be, have to do with the home. It's like they're not happy, they don't fit in, they don't feel like they fit in. They wish that they could go back to the way things were. So I think there's somebody here that is really, really struggling. They're struggling with their current living situation. And they're just not happy. It's like there's, they're not looking forward to this, the future and wherever they're at. I feel like there's a lack of community spirit or there's, or there's a lack of com community support or there's a lack of support from people around. I feel like we have somebody here that is not uh, happy. They're not, it's, it's interesting because the Hero font reverse next to the Four of Wands reverse, those are both cards of commitment. And it's like, this is an unhappy commitment. It's like, this could be a sad farewell. 
It could be somebody. It could be. There's trouble in paradise here. There's trouble on the home front. There's trouble in a living situation. There could be some family discord or there's a lack of acceptance. This isn't my home. I don't feel like this is my home. You know, issues like that, you know, um, not fitting in. I feel like we have somebody here that is, we get the moon on the bottom. That is uh, all is not as it seems, okay? And we do have a full moon coming in, okay? We definitely have, so there's there's something that is hidden that is about to be revealed. Um, there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. I feel like so we have somebody here that is in a commitment that they are pretending to be happy in, but they're not happy at all because the Eight of Cups reversed is pretending. They are pretending. Um, it's like it's almost like a disaster. It really is with the Four of Wands reversed. This is like it's a very messy, messy, messy situation. Somebody is in some sort of commitment where they just. It's like I wish that I could go back. It's not as good as I expected. It's not good. This isn't good. It's not. Um, so I do believe that uh, this full moon is going to uh, put you in a position or put the person that you're with in a position to make a choice because of that lover's card, which is an unexpected choice. We have somebody here that is going to be finding some courage, okay? They're going to be finding some courage to do something, okay? Um, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Six of swords reverse. There's trouble. This is trouble. That's troubled. Uh, refusing to take a new approach. Stuck. Um... We may have somebody here that's going to be causing some trouble. Um, they're stuck. They want to move on, but they can't move on. Five of Wands. This is a fight. It's a battle. Woo! This is, this is definitely trouble. This is somebody that is very... I don't know. It looks like mean-spirited that is causing strife. I feel like there's somebody here that's going to cause some strife in your life. I do. This is somebody that is troubled. I feel like they maybe they have some mental issues. I'm just being honest with the Six of Swords reverse. They may be causing some fights, picking a fight, causing some trouble. Um, this is somebody who thrives on uh, competition. There's tension. You're going to be dealing with some tension this week. You are. I feel like you've gotten yourself into a situation with an individual that doesn't care. You know, it feels like they don't really, it, I mean, it's interesting because I feel like they care. What's this? Ace of swords in re, on reversed. Ace of swords in reverse. Lack of truth. Lack of clarity. Um, a loss of power, not telling the truth, dishonesty, somebody's being dishonest. Anyhow, four, five of wands is a competition, it's a battle, it's tension. Um, in a tense situation, a troubled situation, this is trouble, it absolutely is. It's trouble, it, you are, there's some sort of trouble here, the six of swords reverse, it's, it is. With that five of wands, it looks like it's dangerous. It is dangerous. We could be dealing with a Leo, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have somebody here that is not very spiritual. This person may claim that they are, but they're not. They don't connect. They don't really connect to God or they don't believe in God or something like that. They may say that they do, but they don't. This person is a troublemaker. You do have a troublemaker here. I feel like this troublemaker is going to, um, this is coming back around to test you in some way. They like, they thrive on competition. This is somebody who likes to be in control. I mean, we think about the strength card. That's about control. We do have somebody here that likes control and they want some sort of control over you. It feels like this person is questioning their authority. You may even be dealing with a narcissist from your past. 
Maybe you were married to this person with the Four of Wands and the Hero Font reversed. That you were married to them or you were committed to them or something like, like it was like marriage, you know what I mean? Maybe you lived with them or something or you're married to them now or something like that. We have somebody here that is going to be causing some tension, put it that way. There's going to probably be some tension. There's trouble brewing, okay? There is definitely some trouble brewing. Somebody's being dishonest. They're not telling the truth. Eight of Wands reversed. There's our third eight. So we we have we had it before. We have the Eight of Cups reversed. The straight and they're right in the same lineup. Eight of Cups reversed, Strength, and the Eight of Wands, and it goes just like this. It's, they're right. They're all together. So eight, eight, eight again. The time is now. Some and you got to remember that's the Infinity sign. There's some sort of karma that is. It's a karmic contract. The Lovers is a contract that is coming back around to be dealt with. Eight of Wands, this is not good news in reverse. There's, there's some sort of blockage or there's jealousy, there's guilt. Um, it's bad news. This is definitely, I'm, I'm sorry, it is bad news. It is bad news. Um, Seven of Swords reversed on the bottom. This is, this is uh, getting caught. This is somebody that has no moral conscience. They want control. They definitely, this is, this is definitely high risk. This is a fraud and it is a con man of some sort. I think that you need to be very, very, very careful. Um, there's lies, there's deception with the seven of swords. Okay, there is. This is somebody that is finding a new approach because they've, they've lost control. I feel like this, they've lost power. The ace of swords reverse is loss of power. They've lost some sort of control. They've lost some sort of power and they want it back. You're going to be, you are dealing with a narcissist that wants some sort of power or control back. Okay. I also feel like we have somebody here that may be, uh, dealing with some conflict in their head, in their mind. And it may not be you. It could be the person that you're dealing with. It could be you. I mean, this could go vice versa. There is somebody here that is dealing with some, uh, mental turmoil and they are dealing with a lot of conflict you know inner conflict they're feeling tense and feeling troubled this is like troubled in their mind troubled you know thoughts i feel like we have somebody here that, and they and they may want to leave they want to go somewhere and they haven't found the courage to do so they've been blocking their own happiness this could be a week where something happens very unexpected and they unexpectedly leave they unexpectedly you know, take off. They unexpectedly depart. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. This could be skipping town, making an escape. Um, there, somebody could also be getting caught doing something if they have been cheating. If somebody has been cheating, there's been another, you know, they've been, uh, there's a lover here. Okay. They're, this is getting caught. Um, somebody may also be coming clean. They may be coming clean, which changes everything. Um, Eight of, eight of Wands reversed, though, is not good news. There could be somebody here that is very, very jealous that is taking action. Okay, maybe they find some messages, you know. Somebody finds some messages and it causes a fight, you know. Um, let's get one more card. One more card. The Tower reversed, of course. Now, this is unavoidable change. I know many other readers will tell you that it's avoidable. It's, it was avoidable up until now, okay? It's not avoidable. It's not, okay? There is going to be, it could be a huge fight, a huge loss, a permanent loss. This is a painful change. It's moving, something that you never saw coming. Something coming crashing down. We read it. We read it in the flexible card. So something that has been able to remain upward. Okay, it has been re it has been able to last up until now is about to crumble. Okay, it can't it can't withhold the the falseness anymore. Okay, so a false sense of security or a false foundation or something like that is about to crash. Okay, this could be health problems, it could be fights, whatever it is, it's a permanent loss, okay, that has been avoided up until now. This is a necessary evil, 
It is. It's, it's because it's time. It's time. It's time for you to release. It's time for you to start over. It's time for them to start over, whoever it is. It's unavoidable change that has been avoided up until now. There's been lies. There's been falseness. False foundation. That's what the tower is right next to the four of wands reversed. So the four of wands about a foundation as well. We got somebody who here that is in an unhappy situation. It's not happy. The outside looks grand, but the inside is a mess. And it's all about the fakeness, the falseness, the, the, uh, commitment, whatever it was, is all about to crumble. It is. This is, this is, uh, uh, major disruption to a, I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a foundation, whether it's your body or it's your living situation or a relationship, whatever it is, it's a major disruption. Um, it could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, Get prepared for some tension. There's going to be tension. There is. And you're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to be really, 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 really strong and control yourself during this transition. There is going to be a transition. There's been a delay. There's been a blockage. Eight of Wands reversed, but the time is now. It's time to... Uh, I don't know, it has something to do with freedom. Break yourself free, break yourself free. You're gonna need, or maybe you're dealing with somebody that is breaking themselves free from a false sense of security. Whatever is happening, there is a healing love here. There is a healing energy. And you're gonna need to be flexible. You're gonna be, need to be open-minded. Everything happens for a reason. It, and I think it's, I don't know if it said that, I can't remember because I've done so many readings. I think it said, I can't remember. It says their plan is different than yours. The higher powers plan, how you see it, it may not be what's best for you. There's been a delay. There's been a there's been a delay in getting the happiness. Somebody's not happy. They've been pretending and the falseness is about to come to light. Good luck.